Welcome to a video about video editing with Blender. Today we're going to go over speed controls. Now, as you can see, I'm on Blender 2.90.1. And the first thing we're going to do is just go to File, New, Video Editing. This gets us to our video editing interface. Now, speed controls. But before speed controls, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch this output and file format because this is just something you need to know. And no matter what you do to your video, if you don't get this right, you're not going to get a correctly rendered result. So let's just go ahead and change this file format to FFmpeg, encoding, and then change the audio to AAC, and go ahead and set our output to where we want it to, to render when we're all done. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in a video. I'm going to do this with my file explorer today. So I've got this whole folder just full of video that I've... Uh, recorded and stuff and yours may differ but uh, I'm just gonna grab I don't know I don't even know what this is this is about a 60 about a 60 megabyte file so I'm just gonna drag that in and of course you can use this area up here to navigate to your video and it's up to you to get your video in how you want so this brought in a 60 FPS video it looks like this is probably a some kind of tutorial I did but I'm just gonna zoom out here in this timeline and see what kind of length we're working with it looks like it's about 10 minutes and first off before we get into the speed control stuff I'm just going to click on this video here this is the main video and I'm going to see what the length of it is so I'm going to go to time and see that the duration is 365. I'm just going to copy this and set it as the endpoint. That way we have a full length here. I'm going to click on the audio and click on display waveform. That way we can see where there's audio going on. Looks like it's pretty quiet audio. And now let's talk about the speed controls. So this is the main crux of the video. If you have a part of your video that you want to be nice and sped up, what you can do, well, there's a couple ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm gonna show you the way that I usually do it first, and I'm gonna show you another way. So I'll do some speed up and slow down of, of both ways. So the first thing you wanna do is do a soft cut. There's a hard cut method and a soft cut method. I'm gonna show you the soft cut. Say I wanna speed up this section here from 30 seconds to one minute. So I'll go to about 30 seconds and I'm going to select both the audio and the video and just press K for a soft cut. Then I'm going to go to about the one minute section and press K again for a soft cut. You know, note that the video has to be selected for it to cut. It has to be outlined in this little orange. So say we want to speed up this clip right here to be way faster, maybe 8x, 4x, whatever it may be. So we've got it selected. And what you do next is you go to this Add, Effect Strip, Speed Control. You can also press Shift A to get that same menu. And so now that we have a speed control, we click on the speed control and we'll look at the strip options over here. Make sure this strip right here is selected. And now what we're looking at here is Effect Strip. We see a Multiply Speed. This Multiply Speed has Stretch Input to Strip Length checked. This does not work on soft cuts, so you have to uncheck this. And then you have to set the speed factor to one, and then you change this multiply speed to what you want it to be. So let's just go with, let's just go with eight X in this example. So I'm gonna put eight. And that is the first part done. This will now be eight X faster, but the problem is it's way too long because it's gonna play out the whole thing to about whatever here and then it'll, it'll be done so the rest is just like it extending into a video that you don't want it to so you have to divide the length of this by eight since we sped it up by eight so since the multiply speed was eight we're going to go to this we're going to click on this strip here scroll down to where it says under time you might have to uncollapse this and look for the duration the duration here is 1932 so we're just going to click on that, click on the end part of it so that our little cursor is at the end and then press divide eight, enter. So that was just a slash eight and it sets it to 242. You can also manually put in this number. So for example, I'm going to bring up a little Python console here 
and I'm just going to hit undo to undo this duration thing real quick. So if it's 1932, oops, if it's 1932, you can literally do 1932 divided by 8, see what that result is, and we get 241.5. So you could go manually put this in here, but it's just nice to be able to do the math right there and it handles it for you. So that's 242. Now what about the audio? Majority of the time, people just cut the audio and put like a little music or something, that's fine. But if you want to leave the audio and want it to speed up too, what you do is you click on the audio and look for pitch. You want to pitch it the same amount you sped it up. So since we sped it up by eight, we want to pitch it by eight. And this is going to make it sound chipmunky and super fast. It doesn't display correctly on the waveform. This waveform is no longer correct once you've pitched it. So what we want to do is just put this to the same length. We can press G, hold control, and it will snap. And then we can just click and let go. And there we go. So now this little section will be in 8x and it'll be pitched with super chip monkey sounds. Usually what I do if I leave the audio in is I lower the volume to like half or so. So that was an 8x speed up. But you know, if you want to do a different speed, you just use a different number other than that 8. So let's do a slowdown. So let's say we have a section, maybe just a little section that we want to slow down, maybe an action scene or something. There's no action in this particular video, so it's not the greatest example. But I'll do it anyway, just for sake of example. So let's just take this little section right here. So it's already soft cut on this side. Now I'm just going to soft cut on this side over here. So I'm going to press K again. And now I have a section. So I'm going to click this video here and once again add speed control. Shift A, X strip, speed control. And this time we're going to do a slowdown. We're once again going to uncheck the stretch input to strength strip length. This does not work on soft cuts, I will say once again. If you try to use this, you're going to get all kinds of weird results that make no sense. So uncheck this, set the speed factor to 1, always speed factor to 1, multiply speed is now we want to slow down so we're gonna this is gonna be some kind of fraction so if we want it to be quarter speed or well, let's just say half speed we'll put 0.5 so that would be half speed if we want it to be quarter speed we we'll put 2.25 and so on so you just set it as the fraction of how much you want it to slow down if you're doing a slow down we could do even 0.1 for a tenth of the speed I'm just gonna stick with 0.5 for this example so now that this is half speed it needs to be extended so let's just um, I'm just gonna box select this and press G box select press G grab it and I'm gonna move it up here so I have some room to work with it now needs to be twice as long since it's half speed otherwise it's only going to show half the video so you click on this here the video strip that you've modified go down to the duration and just put times two and that's because we half speed it, half the speed, so it needs to be twice as long. If you did it a tenth, then you need to times it by ten. All right, and now with the audio, we click on the audio. Usually, you want to get rid of it, but if you want that slow moaning or sound, you can have that in here too. You just change this pitch to the same fraction, so it would be 0.5 in this case. And you also want to extend it out. Just click the end here, press G press control, snap it to the end. Now of course we probably want to move this one out of the way and we'll put this down. Down here and I'll just put it right in the end. There we go. So now we've got a sped up section, a slowed down section. And I could play those back and you would you would get them literally. It's, a, it's gonna be a little bit of slow playback but I'll just do it for sake of example. It's going to be super laggy. And the slow down section. Okay, so that's how you do speed up and slow downs with soft cuts. And just real quick, I'm just going to add in a text. I'm going to press Shift A, text. This doesn't really have anything to do with the speed up or slow down. I'm going to extend it out to the length. And I'm just going to put some text in here that says 8x. 8x and I'm going to put two forward things and make it larger just so that I don't know it's just a way to kind of show that 
the video is being sped up by 8x. A lot of times people just put something like that on it for fast forward, but you can do what you want. But yeah, you can overlay text and, and play around with it. And we can do the same thing for the slowdown one. This is not, once again, nothing to do with really the slowdown or speed up, just something that's a little user friendly to do. So on this other one, it's a slowdown. We'll put a, I guess how you would write this would be like 0.5x speed or half or however you want to say it. You know, whatever works best for you. So that way you can kind of show your, um, your user or whoever's watching what the speed is if you want. Totally optional. Just something I like to do occasionally. Uh, most people just leave that out though. Okay, so let's do a section with hard cuts. And this is where, so let's just go to a completely different section. We'll go down here and I'm just going to pick an arbitrary section. And this time I'm going to press Shift K. Shift K does a hard cut. So I'm going to move this other one out of the way. So with a hard cut, you can't extend this back. It'll be just like the paused version of whatever it's coming to, basically. So with the hard cut, it's a little different. So we're going to find an area where we want it to end, say right here. Select both of those. Shift K for a hard cut. So we've done a hard cut on both sides of this clip. Extending it out won't work. It's just gonna be the same video as it ended or whatever, it's gonna be like freeze frame. And uh, so let's put it back. So with hard cuts, you do the same thing. You go to add, you go to effect strip, you go to speed control, but now you can do it the same way. You can uncheck this, um, use uh, stretch input, strip length, stretch to input strip length. You can uncheck that and do it the same way as you did with the soft cut. But now since it's hard cuts, you can also use this stretch to input strip length. You can actually use that. So you can click the end of this, shorten it, and it'll fit the whole thing in this section. So it'll be super fast. You don't know exactly what it is. So it's really hard to get the audio right, maybe even impossible. So I wouldn't recommend keeping the audio if you do it this way, just delete it with the delete key. But now you can get a super sped up section uh, that you that fits to the length you want. And if you extend it out, once it's a hard cut, so I'm stretching it way out. And this is the yeah, and it's going really slow. So you can either stretch it out or squash it down. Squash it down to speed it up, stretch it out to slow it down. And that's how you do it with the stretch to input strip length on a hard cut. So that's pretty much it really guys. The soft cut method. You can't use this stretch to input strip length. The hard cut method, you can. That's the big differences. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Peace out you guys.